This lesson is called Odd Man Out, and it's about sums of odd and even numbers. And the first thing I do is have the students pretend that they're going to be taking dance lessons from the physical education teacher, and they're all going to need a partner. We're doing this to introduce the term Odd Man so Out. So now that they know what an Odd Man Out is, that's somebody who's left over when everybody else has a partner, we go back to our seats and we introduce two towers. And I've got some two towers here, and they're, if you don't have snap cubes, you can use grid paper and cut out what you would be making with snap cubes. But we put cubes together in towers of two. Now right here, I, I'm using one digit numbers because that's easier to start with. And I'm using colors that are the same just to avoid some distractions for the students because you know maybe they'll start looking for patterns in the colors or something like that. So for instance, I've got this number six and I've created a two tower, and we can see that this number is even. There is no odd man out. Every cube has a partner, and it's simple to see just by looking at the cubes. I've got a number here where there is an odd man out. Somebody is left without a partner, so this is an odd number. Next, we move into adding, and so adding odd and even numbers. So if I've got an even number, and I add another even number, I put the two towers together, the sum is still an even number. Every cube has a partner. If I take an even number and I add an odd number, there's still one odd man out. That cube does not have a partner. If I take an odd number and I add another odd number, the two odd men out can combine so that everybody has a partner so that the sum of two odd numbers is always an even number. It doesn't matter how many people there are, how many cubes there are, if it's an odd plus an odd, the sum is always going to be even. I've got some extensions on this lesson. One is subtracting odd and even numbers. So if you started with an even number and subtracted an even number, you would end up with an even number. If you started with an odd number and subtracted an odd number, you would end up with an even number. On the other hand, if you started with an odd number and subtracted an even number, you would end up with an odd number. The next extension I have is a little tricky. It's products of odd and even numbers. If we're doing products of odd and even numbers, we're having the students work in groups. I would start with an even number of cubes that, are, that the kids are working with. So right here, for example, would be a group of five students, each working with a number four, because when we're multiplying, we have to have equal groups. So when they combine their cubes with, you know, showing this as five times four, when they combine their cubes, they will end up with an even number like this. So an odd number times an even number is an even number. And of course, an even number times an even number is an even number. It doesn't matter if one of the factors is even, the product is always going to be even. There's never going to be an odd man out. So we know that even times even equals even. We know that odd times even equals even. It's going to get a little trickier when you're trying to do odd times odd. You will have to have an odd number of students in each group working with an odd number. So for instance, here's our group of five students again. They're working with the number three. So we, here we're showing five times three. So when we combine the cubes, here was two times three. That's even because one of the factors is even. But when we combine the cubes, there's always going to be an odd man out when you're multiplying two odd numbers.